In this lecture, I'm going to show you the essential tools that will give us the power to do faster and better coding. Now, I'm going to show you how to view the source code of any website in an easy and convenient way. Some of you might already know this, but I am going to go through this for those who didn't know yet. First, let's look at the Google Chrome. Personally, using Google Chrome for web development is my favorite. For browsing casual stuff unrelated to web development, my favorite experience will be using Safari instead. The font and everything just looks slightly nicer to me on Safari. I will also prefer to use Safari sometimes if I want to take a preview of the web page on the browser of my iPhone. Now, let's go back to Chrome. When you visit a website, let's say the Udemy homepage. This is the Udemy homepage. Right click on the page and inspect element. This thing here that you see is the HTML source code of the page. Now I'm going to show you something really cool for those who didn't know. I can actually change the background color of this. Now let me find the correct element to change. Amazing, right? Not quite. What we are doing here will not affect the other users that are viewing the website. We are merely changing the looks of the web page on our browser that we see. This means that we have not changed any codes on Udemy and we can't do that. What this can do is that you can actually have a preview of certain codings that you change before actually implementing them. This built-in tool here is really handy when we want to change the CSS design of a web page. CSS is a language that you will learn later after we go through HTML. Now, for Safari and Firefox users, they have these two as well, but I find the one in Chrome the easiest for me to work with. Now, for Safari, you might have to go to Preference, Advanced, and choose to show the Develop menu in the menu bar. Now, let me show you another great tool that you can use with Google Chrome. Google for the Google Chrome Store. and search for the app name Webalizer. This is the app that I'm talking about. It helps to identify software on the web. Now, for example, if I go back to Udemy, I can see what frameworks they're using, what font API they're using, and whether they have a Google Analytics on the website. This is really useful if you are curious on how other web developers build the website. So for example, if a website is built on top of WordPress, most likely Webalizer can detect it and show the WordPress here. Or if it's Drupal, Joomla, and many other frameworks. 